ਪਰਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਤੋਂ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਸਮੇਤ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਸੱਚੀ ਪਰਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾ ਸੇਵਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਸਫਲ ਹੈ ਜਿਤ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਕਾ ਮਨ ਮੰਨੇ ਜਾਂ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਕਾ ਮਨ ਮੰਨਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਪਾਪ ਕਸਮਲ ਪੰਨੇ ਉਪਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਸੋ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਸਖੀ ਕਨੇ ਦੇ ਮਹਾਵਾਕਾਂ ਸਤ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਆਜ ਦਰਕਾ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾਦਾਰ ਅਜ ਪਰਮਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਤਾਲੀਵਾਲ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਪਰਵਾਸ ਸਮੇਤ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋ ਕਰ ਕੇ ਸੱਚੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਗੁਰੂ ਕੇ ਨੰਦਨ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਲਈ ਸਤਿ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਕੱਲ ਦੇ ਰੋਜ਼ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਕੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋ ਕਰ ਕੇ ਪਰਵਾਸ ਸਮੇਤ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰੇ ਸੱਚੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਅਮਰ ਤੋਂ ਸੁਖ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਖ ਅਮਰ ਤੋਂ ਨਾ ਪਰਚਨਾ ਕੇ ਮਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਸਰ ਸੇ ਸੁਖ ਜਲ ਜਾ ਕੋਈ ਉਹ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਹਰਿ ਜਸ ਕੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸ਼ੀ ਕੋਈ ਅਨਸਾਰ ਦਾ ਜਾ ਪਤਾ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਅਕਰ ਰਾਤ ਤੋਂ ਵਾਦਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਕੁਝ ਮਾਨੇ ਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਚੇ ਤਾਂ ਨਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਚੰਦੀ ਕਾ ਇਹ ਪਾਣੀ ਸਰਤ ਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਗੁਰਮਤੀ ਦੇਵ ਆਪ ਗੁਰਮੁਖਾਂ ਜਪਿਆ ਗੁਰਮਤੀ ਦੇਵ ਆਪ ਗੁਰਮਖ ਹਰ ਜਪਿਆ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਨੋ ਡਾਊਟ that the six took the bullets <coughs> when they were praying <coughs> and in the process of worshiping it's been felt that all concerns of the country by the people of all faiths we all felt that this american tragedy and coming together today is an important process of healing reason that we wanted to be here today is to signify our commitment to ensuring that civil rights exist for everyone in our community. When a tragedy like the killings in Wisconsin occurs, it's a crime that strikes the Sikh community immediately, but really its impact is much larger than that. When a criminal walks into a place of worship and endangers people as they are praying to God it is a crime that strikes at all of us that strikes deeply into our hearts and as many people have said this week and as I would echo it's an american tragedy not merely a sikh tragedy and yet as i look around this room I see good coming from that tragedy. I see many people who have perhaps visited this temple once in the past or perhaps have never visited visited the temple before. Um and I see friends from the Muslim community, from the Jewish community, I see Christians and Sikhs, all people, all Americans here together. Uh, because one of the most important things about the American tradition is that we are a melting pot of people. and that's our strength and that's the beauty of our communities. So we're all here together today as Americans and and I on behalf of all of the people in law enforcement who have joined the Sikh community today appreciate the opportunity to again say that this is a country that's committed to civil rights for all people. And as our community expands, we expand our understanding of the richness and the depth and the beauty that the variety of cultures that have become Birmingham and its surrounding cities give to all of us. Thank you for letting us join you today and please know that we are always close by if, if there is any need. We hope that you will reach out. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a pleasure for us to stand and be with you here today. It is an honor for us just to have the opportunity to come in, be in service here with the Sikh Temple of Alabama. Don't confuse the issue that happened even in Wisconsin as being a Wisconsin issue. As our U.S. Attorney George Nance has said, this is a crime against all Americans. In fact, it's a crime against humanity. one of the greatest and most inalienable rights that we have is the right to be able to serve and worship as we please where we please and we should be able to do that without conflict of others and without causing issues with others and without others stepping in and causing 
friction and stopping us from enjoying that right. I'm a Christian, and as a Christian in my service, we study Sunday school, and one of the things that we've been dealing with here lately deals with being a good leader and being a good judge or a good service provider, realizing that all human beings deserve the right to be treated equally. All Americans deserve the right to be treated fairly. I want to echo the uh, comments from the United States Attorney, George Vance, Chief Rutledge, very eloquent. The FBI and law enforcement in general at this local, state, federal level are committed to maintaining civil rights and the uh, ability of people to worship and feel free uh, from hate, uh, from prejudice. So we, we do stand committed with you today uh, that if you do have incidents of potential hate crimes, please do not go silent. Please report those so that we can try to do something uh, on your behalf and, and with you uh, as this uh, show solidarity as a community. Uh, on behalf of the men and women of law enforcement uh, that are here today, and on behalf of our office, we, we do stand with you. Uh, and I'll just say briefly, uh, what we try to do at the ACLU is uh, protect the civil liberties that our Constitution affords us. And I think one of the most important civil liberties that we all enjoy, and it may be the thing that makes us most fundamentally American, is the freedom of religion, and specifically the free exercise of religion. And as Joyce Vance said, I think one of the most tragic things about what occurred last Sunday, in addition to the loss of life, is that it occurred at a place of worship uh, where people were exercising their religion as they sought to um, just as we're doing here today. Uh, and in that aspect of it, I think it's, it's one of the most tragic features of it. But I think and am hopeful that something good will come out of something tragic uh, insofar as I hope it opens and it seems that it has a dialogue and a discussion uh, and a respect for all the faiths uh, that exist here in the U.S. And that I think makes us different from, from other places. I know we're all proud to be here. O God, full of compassion, grant perfect rest in your, in your sheltering presence to all those who were killed, who were slaughtered in Wisconsin last week. May the Holy One watch over them and enter them under the shadow of his wings. May God protect them. May they rest in peace and let us say, Amen. I bring uh, first, uh, and probably I can say for a fact, I'm the only rabbi here who has also been to the Golden Temple in Amritsar. It's true. I'm the only rabbi in Birmingham who's also been to the Temple in Amritsar. And I had a privilege to go with my friend, uh, Reverend Barry Vaughn, a teacher um, from the Episcopalian Church, St. Albans Church. And there we found in uh, Amritsar um, a place of great hospitality, great welcome, understanding that the welcoming uh, spirit of the Sikh religion is to see that there is God within everybody. So we're here to affirm in our own faiths what you teach in your faith. We are not taught, no one is my enemy, no one is a foreigner, with all I am at peace. God within us renders us incapable of hate and prejudice. I want to offer you my own personal sympathy sympathy of my community, the Episcopal Church, and offer my support to the Sikh community. Sikhs, Christians, Jews, other faiths have so much in common. We all believe in one God. We all try to worship and serve one God. We believe that the light of God is in every human heart. We believe that all of us are equal before God. One of your gurus taught that humans are made from the clay of the earth and that God is like a potter fashioning different part, pots. Christians believe much the same thing. We share certain values. Jesus taught us to love one another. What happened in Wisconsin last weekend was anathema. It was foreign. It was totally contrary to values that Christians teach. And so we want to condemn that action. I, on behalf of 
of the Muslim community of Birmingham bring a message of love, sympathy, condolence, <coughs> says to our brothers and sisters in the Sikh community. Let us today, in the name of humanity, make a resolve that we will not let, let hate conquer us. We will speak against hate when it is spewed from a member in a masjid or a pulpit from a church. We are going to fight our, the hate that is being spewed. Let us make a resolve that it will not take tragedies like this to bring us together. Let us all stand together in solidarity in this time of sorrow for the sick community.